As with so many other parts on your machine, functioning hydraulic cylinders is vital to getting work done. You will find hydraulic cylinders on almost every type of machine, from excavators to skid steers, wheel loaders, and bulldozers. When a cylinder starts to fail, the question of repairing or replacing is soon to follow. When you should repair a failing cylinder and when you need to replace it depends on a few determining factors. A hydraulic cylinder has many parts that can fail. The barrel is the most visible part, but inside the barrel are many smaller components. The rod is the part you see moving in and out of the cylinder. Other parts include the cylinder head, the cylinder cap, and various seals and bearings. It only takes the failure of one part, even a small seal, to cause the cylinder to lose the ability to work properly and eventually fail. Hydraulic cylinder failure primarily stems from contaminated fluid and damaged seals. Failure can also be caused by excessive wear or sudden damage to hard parts. A bent piston rod will cause the cylinder to fail rapidly, if not immediately. A hydraulic cylinder that is beyond repair is usually obvious. The cylinder bore is cracked, the rod is severely bent, or the entire cylinder is torched. However, most hydraulic cylinders can be repaired by an experienced hydraulic shop. Often a cylinder can be repaired by simply repacking the cylinder with a seal kit. This is a job that can be performed by virtually anyone working on a smaller cylinder if they have the right tools and know-how. What needs to be considered when it comes to replacing or repairing a hydraulic cylinder is the simple concept of time and money. Often a cylinder that is acting up can still do the job. The problem is that completing tasks is likely taking more time than it should. Also, if the hydraulic cylinder is not working properly, it can cause problems with other components in the hydraulic system and put stress on other parts like pins, bearings, and seals. When a cylinder needs to be removed from the machine and repaired, it can be on the sideline for days, if not weeks. Both scenarios of downtime needs to be considered when it comes to a decision on repairing the cylinder or replacing the cylinder entirely. For this reason, you need to evaluate how much potential work you won't be able to complete. If you have a replacement cylinder ready to go while the damaged cylinder is being repaired, downtime won't be a problem. If you decide the best option is to replace the cylinder entirely, there are a few options. You can, of course, buy a new OEM hydraulic cylinder from the dealer. This will, of course, be the most costly path to take. Often, the dealer will discontinue hydraulic cylinders, leaving machine owners banking on another option, which is aftermarket cylinders. There are plenty of aftermarket companies that produce high quality hydraulic cylinders that usually come with a one year warranty. These cylinders can cost half of what the dealer fetches for a new one. You can also get a rebuilt cylinder. They generally cost about 20% less than that of a new one. You'll usually need to turn in your old cylinder as a core and there may be core criteria to consider. Another option would be to get a used cylinder. A used OEM cylinder, however, often costs about the same, if not more, than an aftermarket one. A used cylinder usually only comes with a 30-day warranty, if it comes with one at all. When a cylinder fails, it's usually only one small component that needs to be replaced, like a seal or an O-ring. Having a cylinder repacked by a repair shop usually costs a few hundred dollars, depending on the cylinder being repaired. Getting a cylinder completely rebuilt is a bit more costly. Though less than buying a new OEM cylinder, the price is usually about the same as getting a new replacement cylinder. Rebuilding cylinders typically have a 90-day warranty. Catacqua Parts sells new, rebuilt, and used cylinders for virtually every make and model of excavator, wheel loader, bulldozer, backhoe, and many other machines. Mm -hmm.